Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having a feature upgrade issue in Windows 10 specifically. So I noticed that every time there's a major build update, usually in the spring and the fall, there are some issues with the upgrading the features. So hopefully in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off calling the start by one time. Type in Windows Features. Best match, trickle back with turn Windows Features on or off. Left click on that one time. So you want to make sure the box next to .NET Framework 3.5 is selected, so turn that on. Left click on OK. If you don't already have them on your system, it'll go through a couple prompts and it will download it immediately. Suggest using the Windows Update method, so once you select that, you might be prompted if you want to check for updates manually or you want to do it directly through Windows Update. Select through Windows Update and then it'll do the whole process for you. So once you've done that, try restarting your computer and see if you're able to run the update. If you're still experiencing a problem, you can go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Troubleshoot. Pest match should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to scroll down until you get to near the bottom where it says Windows Store Apps. Troubleshoot prompts that may prevent Windows Store Apps from working properly. Left click on that, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So if it gives you any advice on what to do, I would suggest following along with it here, and then just select Next. So in your case, you might be seeing different prompts. That's why I'm not kind of focusing too much on any one specific thing. But if you see anything in here, just follow along with what it suggests. Click on Close, restart your computer again. Now, if you're still experiencing a problem, we can try clearing the Windows Update cache. So we're going to close out of here. Assuming you've restarted your computer at this point, now that we're back in to the Windows operating system, you're going to type in Services. Best match should come back with services. Left click on that. Want to locate the Windows Update service, so it should be near the bottom of this list. You want to double click on it. If server status is running, you want to left click on stop. Click on cancel. Click on OK to close out of there. And now you want to scroll up to the background intelligent transfer service. Double click on that stop that one as well. Click on OK. You can close out or minimize the services window. We're going to have to come back in here at the end, so whichever you prefer. I'm going to just minimize it. And we're going to now head back to the Start menu, type in File Explorer. Best match, should come back with File Explorer. Left click on that. On the left side, you want to left click on where it says This PC. Double click on your local disk or Windows installed on. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive just to indicate where Windows is installed on. So you might have multiple drives listed in here. We're going to select our local disk, which in most people's case it is the C drive, but in reality it could be anything from A to Z. Double click on that. Now you want to double click on the Windows folder. You also want to set your view up here. So left click on View, the View tab. On the far right side, left click on Options, Change Folder and Search Options, left click on that, left click on the View tab within this Folder Options window, and where it says Hidden Files and Folders, you want to make sure it says Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and then left click on Apply and OK. Once you're done with that, back here, we've already gone underneath this PC, our local disk, we've gone underneath the Windows folder. Now we're going to scroll down to Software Distribution. Double click on the software distribution folder in there. Double click on the download folder. And then anything in here, just highlight over with your mouse. And then just click delete on your keyboard or right click and delete whatever you prefer. Check mark where it says do this for all current items and then select continue. Once you're done with that, close out of here. I'm going to open back up the services window that I had minimized down to our taskbar. We're going to go back into the Background Intelligent Transfer Service, double click on it, Service Status, we're going to left click on the Start button this time, and then left click on OK. And now you want to scroll down to Windows Update, double click on it, 
make sure it's set to start as well. Another thing I didn't touch on for startup type for Windows Update, I would suggest making it automatic. So while it doesn't really pertain so much to this tutorial, you probably do want to set it to automatic if it's manual or disabled. So again, set it to automatic is probably a good move. And then you just would do apply and OK. And then you do the same thing for the background intelligent transfer servers. I believe that one usually has a delayed start though. So if you double click on that, you can set it to automatic or automatic delayed start. Doesn't really matter too much, but whatever you prefer to each their own. So close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So I do best was able to help you guys out. And you guys can also alternatively go onto Microsoft's website and actually look up the update itself. Microsoft does offer standalone updates usually a lot of times so you can actually just go download it and then run the manual standalone installer. That's another option for you as well. So just keep that in mind. Wanted to throw a few different methods out there that should hopefully be able to get you back up and running. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.